what everybody should know about phosphorus chemistry is that phosphoric acid is quite a strong acid. It can dissociate and lose in turn one each of the three hydrogens on the OH groups. If you take that acid and make esters from it, you'll see the pattern now. We're putting R groups where the hydrogens are. If you make the triester, so that's all these acidic hydrogens used up, that structure now is no longer an acid. All the acidic hydrogens have been taken out. And if you take this phosphoric acid and dissociate it, so if you put it into water and allow it to dissociate, you will get to an equilibrium of the different anions. Significant amount of the monoanion with one proton dissociated, some of the dianion with two protons dissociated, and a small amount of the trianion, three protons dissociated. Phosphate groups are important in biological systems, they're important in me and in your bodies. Under those physiological pHs, you'll often find that equilibrium mixture of the anions of phosphoric acid as their salts referred to as inorganic phosphate, and it's often abbreviated down to PI. The dissociating equilibrium systems of polybasic acids. We can join two phosphoric acids together to make an anhydride structure. Or we could add a phosphate acid to another phosphate to make a diphosphate or a triphosphate. Out there in the room, who's heard of ATP? Oh, lots of people have heard of ATP. It's a triphosphate. So you have there in those types of structures powerful recognition motifs, powerful leaving group motifs, which have a crucial role in energy storage and reactivity in biological systems.